Zoe with a quick fold. Well, Daniel, just a Queen Deuce offsuit out as well. Paul Dugozima finally wow. gonna take a breather. 110. Well, Kevin gonna raise it up on the button here with the ace high. Yep, makes it 110 to go. Jeff Madsen out, Ben though. Ben Tarzia has a decent A6, will make this call. Be gentle on me now. Always, always. Now Ben's family man, four kids, <clears throat> likes to ride motorcycles. One look at this flop, it's great for Ben. Three of a kind like that, Ben checks it. Nothing hitting for Kevin, but he's aggressive. We'll make a continuation bet. 90,000. Boy, Ben is flopping beautifully here tonight when he gets involved in a hand. Just makes the okie dokie call. Well, it worked for him before. And we're going to the turn. Now a king comes off. Well, Ben's going to check, and here comes Kevin one more time. Going to continue firing at this pot. 155,000, and the party might be over for him here, right here, because Ben is going to raise it. With the three sixes. He is going to make it a total of 375. Now, what is Kevin doing? He's going to stick around and make this call. That is surprising. Absolutely shocked here. Drawing dead, as you can see. But why would you call there? You just wouldn't think an amateur player, a businessman, is going to check raise with no hand. I agree. Queen of Diamonds on the river. No help, of course, for Eister. And Ben will make this bet a hefty 525. This is pretty uncallable if you really analyze the player. You can only beat a stone bluff. Mm -hmm. Would an amateur check raise you, make a stone bluff in this situation? I wouldn't think so. Only a six and bluffs make sense right here. He's talking himself into it. He's making a bad call. Six. Very surprised Kevin Eister went for that, just as we were surprised a minute ago when Paul kept firing at the pot as the Canadian was calling him. So he's just letting these guys fire off, Vince. It's beautiful.